What's going on, everybody? This is Jesse Carter over at the Pro Wrestling Shoot. The Pro Wrestling Shoot is a podcast that can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Every single Wednesday before AEW Dynamite, we dive into some of your favorite current day wrestling as well as some old school stuff. We can also be found over on YouTube and Twitch where we post exclusive video, whether it be content for video games or wrestling news or short clips or even live streams. Come check us out and subscribe to the Pro Wrestling Shoot over on YouTube and Twitch. And if you want to find us on our social medias, it's at the Pro Wrestling Shoot on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok, and over on Twitter at TPWS Podcast. The Pro Wrestling Shoot is not only just a podcast, we are also an independent company when it comes to audio engineering and graphics designs, as well as voiceovers so come and follow us over on our social medias and check us out every single wednesday over on apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, and spotify this is mlw referee doug markham and you're listening to everything pro wrestling with conrad cushman folks welcome to everything pro wrestling everything pro wrestling is a show by the fans for the fans I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, joined tonight by my tag team partner in crime, the one, the only, the man they call Derek. What up? Guys, we got an incredible, incredible AEW Dynamite review for you. Lots to talk about, um, even concerning the video game, if you guys want to get into some of that. Um, very minor news about that. And uh, tonight, we got to see Mark Briscoe. Um, honor his brother Jay Briscoe. I had to put that in the title, and uh, I, for one, am happy to see it. So I didn't hear it tonight, but I want to start it off again because I think that wrestlers are very important to what I do. So I'm going to start off with the 10 bell salute. We'll get into the intro, and then we're going to talk some AEW dynamite. Happy heavenly birthday to Jay Briscoe. We miss you, brother. for the sky boy all right everybody another episode of dynamite in the books can't wait to uh, see what everyone thinks of tonight's episode. Um, if you guys are out there, don't forget, man. Uh, if you guys want to help out the video, make sure you guys hit that like button on the video. Don't forget to share this video with somebody and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel is very, very important to us. Uh, we're actually moving really close up in those numbers, so every subscription counts. So make sure you guys show love. And if you're listening on the audio version, Five-star review helps, too. We've been getting a couple in, so please, the more the merrier. If you enjoy what you're listening to, leave us that five-star review. Five-star frog splash that review button for us, all right? Um, thank you all so much for coming in and joining tonight. we got to show some love to the chat, man. Pro Wrestling Shoots in the house. Pro Wrestling Shoot, they're live every single uh, Tuesday now on YouTube. So make sure you guys are in their live chat as well. They talk a little bit of everything in the world of pro wrestling, but I got to show love to my fellow podcasters. Uh, Jesse does an incredible job running it with James and the whole crew over there. So make sure you guys show them some love. Uh, they are much, much appreciated. Um, he said, seeing Mark with both titles tonight had me straight up weeping. Me too, bro. Me too. Uh, Matt Lopez says, good evening, everyone. Uh, I have never smiled and cried so much in my life. Yes, I know Matt Lopez is in a Ring of Honor OG. Me and Matt uh, bonded through like Ring of Honor talking about it. So much respect and much love to you as well, sir. Uh, Jason Marsh says, wow, what a tribute to Jay Briscoe. I'm crying seeing Mark carry both of the titles and Jay 
uh, Jay Driller and everyone standing up on the ramp. Yeah. That was a beautiful match to end the show. BJ said, reach for the sky, boy. Uh, B-Boy said, who's cutting the onions? I hear you. Uh, shout out to my co-host, Sean Hubbard, Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. We are live every Monday, 6.05 Eastern Standard Time. We do Clash of the Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to his channel as well. It is up on the screen here. He has a quote for us from Matthew 25, 13. We know not the day nor the hour. Jay's untimely passing reminds us to tell our loved ones that we love them while they can. Send in love to Conrad and Derek. R.I.P. Jay. Hashtag bigger than wrestling. Appreciate that, Sean. My Appreciate guy, Hubs. Uh, Deanna said, passing out tissues. Deanna, how are you? Um, I'll give you your props now. Your football team definitely uh, kicked our booty. So I, I wouldn't yeah. say that, bro. Nah, they won. It's 27-10. At least it's not 21 whitewash. Derek is a hater. Oh, and if I pulled up the messages that Derek <laughs> said, Derek was gleefully laughing. Do not fall for this. Uh, Rated R Tokyo says, RIP Jay. What's good, Tokyo? Uh, knowing it's his birthday makes this all the more bittersweet. Uh, Terrell, what's good, Terrell? I saw Jay three times in person, 2018. NYC Excellence, ROH Manhattan Center, ROH versus New Japan at MSG, and last year in Queens at House of Glory. They did a good job putting over um main event at House of Glory, I heard, man. So all love, man. All love for that. And thank you for being in here, Terrell. Positively, E says, yo, what's good, E? What's good? BJ said, hate, hate, hate. Let them know, Beach. Let them know. Jocelyn said, the best tribute to date. I love it. I love it. Our teams are bonded. Thanks. All good. All good. I could I could take the L. We'll be back though. We'll be back. That window's closing, bro. Where three years old? Hold on. Where's BJ? All right. Thank you. We're gonna put that comment up while Derek speaks about foolishness. Tonight, Dynamite was live in the Rupp Arena, known for their college basketball games. But tonight, AEW had them rocking. Had them rocking out there, man. Um, that they did. That they did. I thought they did a good job on tonight's show overall. Oh, they did. Um, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. New York won football today. Aaron Rodgers expected to get traded to the Jets. I don't believe it till I see the jersey. <laughs> until I see him holding it up like, yeah, I'm here. I don't, I don't believe nothing with that, man. Uh, Odell know. expected to return to the Giants. I wouldn't we'll see. That. We'll see. <laughs> Derek is always hating. That's his job. That's his <laughs> MO, Jason. He's a hater. Listen, Shirts coming soon, I think. I'm just saying, bro. It's it wasn't 21 whitewash. Haters always say I'm just saying, <laughs> like they they're making a point. Bro, we did, we did all right. We did. All right. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's like you you finally played someone who actually had a defense. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we don't have time for this crap, and I know people are about to be writing comments. In in the drop of a moment. So uh, the incredible card tonight for what we had on paper. This is what we started out with. Um, I thought that it looked really good for what they were able to do tonight. Uh, You had great matches lined up. Some championship caliber matches with champions involved. You had a title match even on this show. Um, Overall, it looked like it was going to be fun. Um, (laughs) Everyone hater. (laughs) He's a Tom Brady fan. Uh, poor Samoa Joe. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't see the hug part. I th- I saw Joe looking on. Derek said he was looking like a coach. Um, nobody wants to face Brock Fruity in the Super Bowl. Is it me or is Ric Flair off with the Takesha the chops? I I didn't pay attention to it enough. Ric Flair's always complaining about something these days, so I, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's Flair's right as a wrestler, but I didn't have any complaints about the chops. I don't know. He said his chops were bad, apparently. <laughs> well, I mean, not everybody chops like you, bro. That that was your thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't care. Like, that's how I feel with it. It's not that serious. I felt like Takeshita gave, like, a respectful response to, like, teach me then. You know, he was like, okay, I respect it. All good. All good. So, like I said, Rupp Arena was rocking. Check out our friends at Everything College Basketball. I'm going to give them a little plug here. Uh, I usually have their ads on the Clash of the Podcast, but Everything College Basketball, they're doing uh, predictions for college basketball and Royal Rumble numbers this week. So make sure you guys check them out. 
Here we go. AW Dynamite tonight started off with some tag team action. It says Jericho Appreciation Society, Chris Jericho, and Sammy Guevara. Spanish God. I prefer to call them the sex gods. <laughs> Taking on Action Andretti and Ricky Starks. Now, when it comes down to Ricky, he is able to put on a show. He's been getting wins week in and week out on this show. Is he going to be able to do it again against the JAS is what we're all wondering. Daniel Garcia comes out. He's with the JAS. He's rocking Jericho's bat. Uh, he did not win the match to get into this, as we had alluded to last week. So he's on the outside. Sammy and Action Andretti started off, got some high-flying offense in. I thought this was fun. This was a good match. I liked it. Um, you know, I, I, I like the fact that they um, that they that, that they're pushing him now. Like, give him give him a slight slight little push. Like, all right, let, let's let's see what. Wait, you who's do. him? Um, you talk about Andretti or Ricky? Andretti. Okay, because it, it, you know, I mean, y'all know Ricky. I'm not. I'm not even going for this. It shouldn't Spanish. even. Ridiculous. Ridiculous that this happens every week. But Ricky Starks and Chris Jericho came in. I, I really like the offense in the beginning. I like Ricky doing the trademark walk across the ropes with the little swagger that he has with it. Mm -hmm. It works. It does. But I like that today. Sammy Guevara referenced hitting that cutter one year ago on Cody. Think about that, bro. Think of everything that's happened since then. That's bro, Vince McMahon, all out brawl out, the gripe bomb, everything in wrestling, great pay-per-views. John Cena's back. John Cena's gone. Roman Reigns is still champion. How did all this stuff happen? And we just that Cody moment was just there. What a great moment, though, for Nick that cutter. It was. Ricky's doing the walk across the ropes, though, in this match. Off he comes, cutter. Looked great. I thought that Sammy was able to. He hit a lot of stuff tonight. It made you kind of like say, you know, dude's good, man. Dude's good. You know, uh, oh, oh, I, I will give Andretti his his just due. That boy is good. He is good. I was all for these three young gentlemen and upper echelon uh, gentlemen. I will say. Okay. Um, they all came in and did what they were supposed to do, and when you put on a on a match like that, like now, granted, I will say, please, do not drag this out. <laughs> I think it's too late. We might be beyond that point. I mean, if it goes to revolution, I get it, but if you go past that, I have fears, bro. Yes, we. I don't want it ended at revolution, and. Let it be what it is. But no, you know, all, all four of these men came in. We we can always count on Jericho to, to to either put somebody above and and have himself do his thing on top of that. Sammy's always gonna perform. Ricky is always gonna perform. I I was more tuned into Andretti just to see how he would stand on this kind of stage. And you know how I think he did? Well, See, I could bust him out too. <laughs> I thought he did well on this stage. Um, action, action delivered here. I, I think he's got more potential. I saw some people hating on him this week, and I'm like, nah, this dude's pretty good. I, I think, like yeah, I think he's got potential. Shout out to Positively E too. I'm trying to put up your comments while we're talking, and E definitely put up chopped cheese. That's what we have for dinner tonight, good sir. So, <laughs> chop burger. <laughs> we get a chop burger. <laughs> Chopped cheese in, in NYC, baby. Right. But, uh, yeah, I definitely hear you on that. Um, getting back to this, on the outside, Ricky hit the Rochambeau on Jericho. All thank, right. Our Rochambeau, boy. Thank goodness he put his knee down, bro. Jericho, <laughs> he's about to smack and knock the wind out of himself. Uh, Daniel Garcia, though, while the ref's looking on outside at that, uses the bat illegally, helps Sammy Guevara hit the GTH, the go-to-hell on action. They get the win. Action takes the L. I don't think it hurt him here, though. No. Sammy kind of needed this win because he's kind of been like the third he's, wheel. He's been in limbo for me. Yeah. Like he's been in limbo. He's kind of been the background player to this Jericho Garcia stuff. Yes. I, I, I'm not really fond of that, but, I mean, I, I guess I get it. 
E, why'd you spell it like that? Ah, you... Wards. Um, but yeah, they get the dub, and this furthers the storyline. Yes. But it has to end soon. Right? It has to end. So we can't drag this out any further. Uh, Matt Lopez said that was a smooth-ass cutter on Ricky. See? E said, hate the rope walk. Come on, E. I like it. I like, I like it. Because he could do something with like whatever you have, yeah. the hat, and then he's got the... He's, I think he's supposed to be the swagger braggadocious he's like the rock he's he thinks he's his shit don't stink so i like it i think that helps add to it i'm starting to get tired of jericho jericho's doing fine he's using that group to to make his they take the bumps for him a little bit he helps give them the rub that's what it should be cody who vince leaving coming back being sued potentially again yeah a lot of stuff happened uh shout out to kurt decker kurt says everyone has been sick of jericho for about a year I think it varies depending on who you are and what you with the moment you got sick of it. Right. Yeah. Action and Dreddy need to leave the uh black and lovely perm kid at home. Come on now. <laughs> Fast feud. BJ new. Well, we got a well t-shirt on our T public store. Link in the description, by the way. Uh Andretti held his own and shined at, at BK Have It Your Way. Whopper, 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 whopper. <laughs> Uh, I can see uh, Ricky turning on Andretti. Bring back heel, Ricky. Now nah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> At BK, have, have it, it your way. way. <laughs> Andretti for the All Atlantic Championship. I think we're it's too early for that. I think Action Andretti would be great for Ring of Honor. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I agree. I, I don't. I don't think it's time yet. Um, a Ring of Honor title, yes, but he's a young man. He's got yeah. time. Uh, Jericho don't put nobody over. <laughs> You all failing for the banana in the tailpipe, Jericho, a heat <laughs> succubus. Uh, nah, Jericho been putting on bangers and make no mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, listen, Chris has been doing his thing, man. He, it, It's not all doom and gloom like some people make it seem with him. Right, yeah. Um, it, it, ju- it just can't go on any further than revolution. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's got to end. At least with this feud. Yes. I don't know if he's going to be in the blood and guts match. That'll probably be the next thing they're building to. I feel like, you know what? I think that you should give it to the women's division. Yeah. I think you should let the women have the blood and guts match. Honestly, as far as that match is concerned. What? Blood and guts or? Yes. Okay. Blood and guts. Pronouns, I, pal. Derek just be talking and he'll what? say what he, you were like, as far as that, what match? Which one? Uh, well, I'm saying I'm saying as far as as far as the we're in transition, sir. You gotta explain yourself. Oh my goodness. Listen, <laughs> as far as the blood and guts match goes, say it with your chest. Come on, say it. As far as that goes, I will say blood and guts what? definitely needs to go to the women this time. Fair. I definitely, th- I, I just think they, I think they're, they're on the upper echelon of momentum right now. Derek's talking with his hands like he's a boss today too. I felt very hostile, like I wanted to say something back, <laughs> like I'm in the union, you know. I'm just saying, I, mean, I just gotta, gotta make it clear. A said facts. Eric, good question. Is Britta babyface now? I think that's to be determined. Demond McKinney was good, bro. He said, "Yo, sorry, I'm late. You never have to be sorry, bro. This is like Cheers. You're in a place where everybody knows your name. You're good, bro." Sorry, I'm late. I'm here to talk AEW. Let y'all know I'm the dude dressed like I do, pretending to be another dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that, that was a great line. Yeah. I'm uh, a dude disguised as a dude dressed as another dude. <laughs> uh, that's probably too old school for some of the people in the yeah. chat. <laughs> Google it, kids. Uh, now they're setting up uh, Brit. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Terrell's got a theory in there. Speaking of war games, I know you talk in 2K23 later. I did mention AEW. You know what? At the end, we'll try to get through this, and we could talk some WWE. We could talk some video games and Royal Rumble at the end. Remind me, E, and we'll talk about it for a second. Uh, I think they have the women that can uh, pull off that match and make it work well. I agree. I, th- I think it's their time to have that match. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's just that's just my opinion. You have to give the women's division something that they can sink their teeth into and have some fun, and I think it's time. Yes. Um. Next up, they showed an emotional uh, video package for Jay Briscoe. Um. I don't know why I was listening to Leonard Skinner today because I know that was their theme at one point. The uh, uh, bring me 
bring bring me back my bullets, whatever it's called. I don't I don't listen to Leonard Skinner, but <laughs> somebody had that uh, like a tribute to them on uh, YouTube, and I was listening to it, and it just brought back memories of the Briscoes, man. Uh, that video definitely hurts, man, to see like a father do all the crazy stuff that they do with their kids, and he's dancing in the video with his daughter who does cheerlead, and he's out there just being a wild dad grilling you know what i mean like those are the things that you just don't think matter but that's the stuff that like your kids remember and your family remember oh yeah just, a, i think that that that's something that you have to cherish all the time and not and i, I pray for them because that that's that's going to be a huge change for them something that they were used to something that was in their routine every day that changes now unfortunate but it changes pro wrestling shoot says never thought i'd say it but i'm really enjoying the AEW women's division. Ne you. Never say never, bro. Honestly, I think they're the most interesting division right now. Yes, I said it. I'm sorry, Max. I think it's the it's got the most interest for me right now. Um, not that I hate the tag team and what's going on in the world division. I just think the women got they got well, my attention. Like, it, there's levels to it. Like, who's got my attention right now? Well, there's oh, here you go. <laughs> here you go. You and BJ with this layers and onions. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. So, so. In my opinion, and give me back my bullet. Sorry, did I say bring me back? I was thinking of Ti maybe too. <laughs> I listened to some old music today too at the gym. Um, I, I I definitely think I enjoy the women's division more than the men's division right now because they are actually structuring the women's division with storylines. I think they're finding their footing. That too. That, that too. But I, I think this, you know, you know me. I'm I'm big on the story. So the story, the storyline. Once it makes sense, once it, once you actually know that they're putting their all into it. Derek's big on story, while it's someone he likes. But then, <laughs> if it's someone he doesn't like, Derek's gonna hate on it. I'm just bracing y'all for this well, this saying, bias that comes through on the show. I'm just saying, John Cena doesn't need to be back. He ain't even around. That's hating. He's not even. Maker, you're up here hating. Okay. Well, Actually, with... he'll probably be back for Mania. Exactly. So stick with Peacemaker, bro. I don't need you here for that. Deanna said, family was his everything, referring to Jay Briscoe uh, with wrestling. Uh, Tokyo said, the game's on hold again. We'll talk about it at the end. Layers, Whoa, BJ said. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it at the end. I'll, I'll, I'm saving it. I want to get through this, and then we'll talk. We'll talk video games, Royal Rumble, whatever you guys want. Uh, I'd love an Athena women blood and guts match. Add Athena and Jade, yeah. That's but, but see, I see people saying like less ROH, but I keep seeing people bringing the ROH people back into play. So I'm I'm cool with it, man. Like whatever, whatever makes it best. Finally, giving the women structure and not flying by the seat of their pants. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything pros and counter Derek. The AW game never coming out. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I'll tell you guys why you're not correct on some of this in a minute. Moving forward, we get another title match after that awesome Jay Briscoe tribute. This one, though, TNT Championship. You got Darby Allen with his dad. Sting. It's Sting. It's dad. <laughs> and uh, you have House of Black, Buddy Matthews out there. Uh, this was a fun matchup, I thought, between the Dude, honestly, if I have one match that I have to see Buddy Matthews in, I need Buddy Matthews. Yo, you y'all, I hate the name Buddy, by the way. So do I. Buddy Matthews <laughs> has to be good. WWE ruined that crap for him. Buddy Matthews versus Kenny Omega, bro. Yeah. I need to see that match one time before this dude leaves, before anything else happens. I'd be like, yo, listen, I need you to face Kenny Omega. Just because they have such similar styles, in my opinion. Right. That, um, I agree with you on that, bro. I, I I think that needs to happen. Maybe, maybe we get some traction going with that. Or maybe like a petition or something. Like, like, no, I don't, you don't need a petition. They should just know. I, they should, but you know, this is a... Uh, this is pick and choose city, you know. Hey, we pick and choose what we all do today, right? Right. I hear you, Demond, on your comment right there about uh, Jay Briscoe. I've been watching Honor Club the past week. Yeah, Matt was telling me all the great uh, Briscoe matches he was checking out. Uh, e, yeah, they showed some uh, Noah footage. Yeah, they had Darby was recently over there with Sting. They teamed up with Great Muda in an incredible bout. You guys can watch that live on Fight TV if you guys want to check out Noah. I thought the Noah stage was beautiful. The setup was great for it. Really good. Uh, Deanna said, love me somebody. 
Uh, it's Sting. Um, Buddy and Darby was fun. I like it. Um, really, really good stuff here. So early on, Darby went for a dive. Buddy is wicked strong. I don't think a lot of people realize how strong this dude is. He went for a dive and got caught into a suplex and then thrown onto the apron. Uh, he then goes for a power bomb into the guardrails. Darby reverses and he goes flying into the guardrails. Uh, they continue with the match. Lights go out. Boom. All of a sudden, lights come back on. House of Black are out there. Stings in the face. Stings about to get jumped. Two on one. You know where you are, old man. And then here comes Ortiz, though. Ortiz coming out in the all brown, looking like he's ready to deliver a UPS ass whooping. He comes out, <laughs> strikes him with a kendo stick or some type of weapon. And then he got his ass whipped <laughs> he came, came out ready to uh to deliver the brown note <laughs> <laughs> well he he ended up catching an ass kicking is what he caught but sting was there to help him so they fi- they fend off everyone so now it's it's an even matchup yes uh the matchup goes back and forth for a little bit more but i like the finish on this buddy was on the outside trying to get into the ring through the middle rope darby sees him he's like fuck it put, put him in a coffin. coffin back he goes right on the buddy down he goes like he he wiggled his way around him and then used his feet to tuck his arms in and pinned him on top one two three darby gets the win darby's out there celebrating the refs picking him up off the mat with like a pancake (laughs) he's like come on buddy i got you but then samoa joe pops up on the contron i want that credited to me if you ever hear any of these big youtubers say it the contron has samoa joe pop up and joe says Darby (laughs) and he pops up and says that his biggest mistake was winning that championship and Samoa Joe is coming back for that championship promising to deliver an ass kicking of all time (laughs) ah it ain't never a promise bro it's always a guarantee with Joe (laughs) you you never know you never know. Someone said if it's Brown Flusher, that's nasty. <laughs> the king of television. Yes. Uh, Samoa Joe is going to put Darby in a coffin, somebody said. Listen, John already did that once. Yo, Joe is about to be on his mess, and that match is probably happening sooner than you think. Yes. More on that in about 15 minutes. So after that, we follow up with another matchup. It's a tag team match. Playa, we do have Jungle Boy and Hook, known as Jungle Hook, getting ready to take on the team of Ethan Page and Matt Hardy. If you don't know, Matt Hardy and Ethan Page are teamed up together because Matt Hardy and Isaiah Cassidy and uh, Mark Quinn's supposed to be in this, but I think he's injured or they suspended him. I can't remember right now. But they eventually are now working for Ethan Page, and Stokely has given Ethan Page full-blown permission to uh, bust that ass. And they come out. We get a little comedy in the beginning here. We get some. Uh, <laughs> we get some Stokely telling uh, Isaiah that this is a great team, and he was like, "Hell no, nah. no, nah, this ain't a great team." And then he was like put my chain on dead ass something you'd understand and he basically made him come up out that chain bro stokely hathaway is pure gold stokely hathaway this man is wilding i don't care what anybody says bro every week this dude is going out of control just tripping (laughs) tripping bro but i love him stokely is the man and um I don't know how people have been feeling about the Matt Hardy and Ethan Page storyline, but for those who don't know, they're letting those two write their own story, it sounds like. Like, they came up with all this stuff. Like, Tony was like, yeah, you guys got free reign. You can do it on Dark. Let me know. And then they brought it over to Dynamite. So that's pretty cool to see something that you started writing together, like, grow into something like that. Just saying. Done done correctly with the right amount of time? It could be a great story. Right? Uh, Deanna says, Jungle Hook bringing out the best in each other in this. Soon as uh, Joe run up, Wardlow will appear with the new look. That's right. Broken Matt Hardy is coming back. Uh, Manscaped spot due to all the chest hair on Jungle Hook. Well, I was going to save it. But if we're talking about getting a clipping, it's time to talk about that Manscaped. Now, if you guys go to Manscaped.com, put in our promo code EPWSHOW right there so you guys can see it. 
You guys put in that promo code, you can save 20% off on all your Manscaped products. That includes boxers, aka draws. You guys can make sure you get that lawnmower. That's one of my personal favorites. They even have beard trimming kits now. I saw that. I'm I'm actually interested in trying that. Yeah, use our promo code. You can you can get some money off, bro. It definitely helps. Also, they got nose hair trimmers, stuff like that. Get the newspaper too, so the hair clippings don't get everywhere. You know what I mean? It's all waterproof. You could do it in the shower. You could do it wherever you want. But the main thing is go to manscaped.com, use our promo code. It helps out the podcast a lot. It definitely keeps you trimmed and ready to win. Also, powerslam.tv, you can watch the free wrestling because of us. Promo code EPW show once again. Uh, I know a number of people have taken advantage of this. We've had this code for a long time, but go on out there, still works. Powerslam.tv, promo code EPW show for the win. All that because of some damn chest hair. So, in this, on the outside, Ethan Page went for an Eagle's Edge on Hook, bro. But Jungle Boy was not playing that shit. He uh, made the save by diving through the ropes. Matt Hardy uh, has the match won, it looks like. He's setting up. He's about to hit that twist of fate after he hit the side effect. Jungle Boy, yeah, Jungle Boy's caught, ready for it. And then Ethan Page says, tag me. Tag me. And they've been doing this for weeks on Dark, where he says he's going to come in and basically steal the glory. Matt tags him in. Ethan Page went and effed it up. He goes for the move, gets caught in the snare trap. Jungle Boy has him. Hook pulls down Matt Hardy, slams him against the apron. It was some real no mercy tag team match shit. Like, he just grabbed him. Oh, what are you doing? Right, right. And from there, they get the dub, man. Jungle Hook gets the win again. Um... I thought Hook was impressive here. Hook was very impressive. See? He was. Pro Wrestling Shoe said Manscaped got that beard trimmer now. They got a nice little promo code, too, if you guys check it in. Just got my gear in. It's amazing. See? Okay. Pro, right. Pro Wrestling Shoot knows. Uh, Jungle Hook bringing up that female demo, for sure. For sure. Uh, Jay Brisky Tribute drops tonight at 1 a.m., Matt Lopez says. So that is some breaking news. Thank you, Matt Lopez, bro, for always keeping us up to date, bro. Right, right. I feel like he's like the the behind-the-scenes man for EPW. I appreciate that, bro. On the ROH YouTube channel as well. So there you go. You got some content for tomorrow. Uh, Hook was very good in this match. I'm trying to tell this man, Derek. Derek still needs to see more. I'm telling you, the day when it happens, bro, y'all better not let Derek live this down. Y'all better put up a burnt piece of toast in the chat for Derek because I'm sick of this, all right? I'm just saying, bro, I need to see more. I need to see him one-on-one with with somebody that can go, and then he shows and proves what what his skills really are. That's all I'm saying. I just can't get behind cheering someone who – Hasn't really done much. All right. I'm going to have to write my own comment in. So, I thought this was well done. Well done. It was. Hook's always over. Ah. All right. Shouldn't be, though. Give AEW Women's Wrestling a chance. I think they have been. (laughs) Buck nasty. For real, bro. For real. Pro Wrestling Shoe said, nah, this is EPW. Listen, bro, I'm putting you over, bro. We're like the DX of this shit. I can parody this shit all day. Pro Wrestling Shoe's got promo codes, too. You can support us both. It don't cost you nothing. You know, I'm tired of that. Let me ask you this. Would the big time YouTube people talk to you guys in the chat? Remember that. Without you paying, remember that shit, bro. I keep it a buck all the time. I would always talk to people in the chat whether you paid or you did it. Yes. Now, if it gets overwhelming... I'm sorry it gets overwhelming, but right. there's still there's there's still time to talk to other people with it. Right. Exactly. All right. Maybe that's a successful formula and I'm just missing out so that they can be heard. But I want you guys to feel heard on this show. Uh Derek doesn't just jump, he needs to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We sticking up for him. I'm just saying remember, Derek be hating. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's what it is. Hook looks good. Derek still hating. I love the consistency. Keep it up, big dog. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> Hook pops his hips on those throws just like his dad. Yeah. It's really freakish how him and his dad hit the suplexes the same. Like, they, yeah, they do. They really do. Yeah. Derek, really, man. Hook is over thanks to CM Punk to start it all up. Yeah. That, send Hook. That's what started it, truthfully. Here we go. 
<laughs> Remember this one. It's time to give props, folks. See him who? See him fired. Come on now with that. Don't don't get me started now. Come on. I I bring him back. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh Hook did his thing tonight, Derek. Stop. Derek, I love you, but come on, son. Hook is legit. See? He throwing up the two sweet. <laughs> he putting up, I don't know if that's supposed to be a stop sign or red flags. Yeah, stop sign. Do you think we're going to get a grandpa versus nephew for the TNT title? Ooh, hooking. Uh, so Sting versus Darby. I don't think Sting wants to wrestle one-on-one. I think Sting's past it. Because I really want to see Sting versus MJF. I think they could do that match where MJF bumps for him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It'll be Flair and Sting all over again. But I don't know if Sting can lock that Scorpion death lock in so that we believe it. He might be no, nah, he gonna need that turnbuckle nearby. Probably. That, 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 that's all right though. Look no, like, I love Sting, bro. But I, I, mean, I don't. I don't think. That. I don't think Sting wants to do it. But I would be down for it. Or ha- have these guys win the tag titles. Maybe once they could go for the tag. Belt. I, Sting, Sting should have a title before he retires. Right. Uh, bring them back. Keep them away. CM Punk will probably show up in the Royal Rumble. He ain't showing up in shit. <laughs> he ain't showing up in that. Tony keeping that contract. Trust me. If he was in, if he was really about it, about it, he would have been gone. But he knows that injury. Yeah, time heals all wounds. You know, right? <laughs> They'll be fine. Cause someone, I, I want to get on that horse right now. I'll save it for it. It'll be coming soon, though. As soon as I'm starting to think he's better, talk will be coming. You for uh, you forgot my comments about blood and guts match. I didn't forget about them. I'm going to bring them bring them up when we get to the women's match for me. Good sir. Uh, I don't want to jump when I'm talking about something else into the women's. That's all. Uh, I think Sting's final match will be versus Darby. Maybe they'll do that. Probably. Nah, Derek, us haters got to stick together. We just want to see the world burn and people don't get that. Moving on here. <laughs> Moving on here. Don't Man. don't fuel this man sick, please. Here we go. Well, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, family therapy session. The guns and the acclaimed. Billy Gunn sitting in here. I don't know why I thought this was going to turn into some weird stuff, but it actually turned out to be all right. It was the, basically the setup for the Gunn staking their claim for the tag team titles. There's a lot of a lot of whining going on in this about, you called us ass boys first. Well, you stood up out of your wheelchair and hit me mm-hmm. with your crutch. <laughs> but what was, then Billy said, well, what would make this all better? And they said the tag team titles. Listen. I think the gun club could take them off of them. They can. I think some people don't believe that, but I believe that. I think they can, but it has to be at a, at a pay-per-view. It can't be a regular show. Sorry. That's just my my hating ways. It's got to be a uh, got to be a, a pay-per-view. It can't be a regular show. Fair. That's too much of a grand scale stage match for you to do it on a regular show. Which is which pisses me off when 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 companies do that, like, yo, you, you have this change hands on a, on a regular show when it's not called for a regular show. No, you, I think you have to do that though. So l- yeah. let me tell you why though, bro. Cause old school days, titles used to never change hands. Speaking of raw 30th, <laughs> let me tell you back in 93, you'd be, bro. you'd be lucky as hell. If you saw the, the fucking titles change hands on Monday night raw, bro, they used to never do that. But Bruce Pritchard, I think was the one who said, yo, we got to change these titles on the show. And then eventually it was like, yo, house show numbers are down. Yo, you got to change the titles on the house show sometimes because then people will be like, you don't know what's going to happen. True. It, it, it brings something different to the table. It does. It does. But I, I think I think the, the story buildup is, is too damn big. The story buildup for them is too big. It has to be a pay-per-view match. It, it's going to be, though. It's going to be at Revolution for sure. I, I just feel like they might have the gun club do it. The therapist was like, keep on talking. I'll get more money. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Terrible, Matt. Terrible. I thought we were going to get a bad boys two moment with the therapist. Mike, what? Let me. Don't. 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 <laughs> Woosa. 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 <laughs> Billy Gunn played the long game. He might have. He might have. Uh, four grown boys put them on a big show. Yep. Uh, I was at Raw 25 at the Barclay Center when Miz defeated Roman for the IC title. Trash. Don't remind us. Don't <laughs> remind us. Those were weird days. That was like Roman's punishment was he was the mid-card champ. Like, what? Right. Oh, she said four homegrown boys. Sorry. Sorry. It definitely was uh, an error on that one. AW is TV first. They don't run on a WWE model. They got four pay-per-views a year. Guns ain't getting nothing. 
I'm telling yo, I'm listen. I think the gun club can do it, bro. I think they can too. Are they just the guns or are they the gun club? We'll call them the gun club. It sounds better. I think it it, it would have to be the gun club because uh, the guns just doesn't sound right. They should just have Uncle Bart come out with them. There you go. My man Bart Gun. Remember when he got knocked out by Butterbean? Yes. Damn, bro. Oh, yeah, we watched that together. Yeah. Yo, yeah. he got fucking dropped. Ah, he beat his ass. Butterbean could punch, though, bro. But Bart Gunn was good in that brawl for all. Bart Gunn was yeah. knocking cats oh, out. Yeah, Bart Gunn, he was... Whew. Uh, the family therapy felt like a shoot at the beginning of when uh, they got whiny. You called us ass boy stuff, but I was cool with this. Uh, <laughs> it was trash for those that were at the Hammer Steve Raw 25. They got it bad. Yeah, yeah, they did. I was at Raw 25 at Barclays. It sucked. <laughs> they should have just did the whole show from there. If they were going to, they should just pick one spot and did it that way. Been waiting for a Bart Gun reference on AEW, bro. We need it, right? Uh, the gun should bring in Chuck. Ooh, Billy and Chuck. Billy Gun had a lot of tag partners, though. He, oh, way too many. I think at one point he was teaming with Cena for a little bit, too, even. Did like he? the early days. Yeah. This was before he was like rapping John Cena. Oh, okay. this is when he was. Ooh. <laughs> uh backstage we get the hangman adam page he is talking to renee paquette get this man off the screen see this is the hate i'm talking about he said he wants to fight mox in dayton ohio next week but then here comes fellow bcc member wheeler yuda wait a minute captain planet <laughs> You, you you need some help here, my friend. I don't know why. Will Yuta always just feels like he's sticking his nose in some business it don't belong in. So he's out here and he's like, how about I show you on Rampage? So I'm pretty sure we're going to get a little banger on Rampage between these two. Absolutely. I, th- I think it's going to be a good, a good match. No, no, no doubt about it. I think it would be good. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> nah, Barkley's in suck. We got Stone Cold. These boys, Bart Gun with that deadly left. See, love Hangman. Derek drinking the whole cooler of Haterade for sure. Beach for sure. <laughs> Don't make me say it sick. <laughs> Derek, you say it, bro. <laughs> you look so good to me. Yo, we should never ever sing again. <laughs> That shit is trash. <laughs> uh, Bowens told CBV they wanted Chuck for National Scissors Day, but he was busy. I think he owns a, a motorcycle shop or something now. Uh, yeah, I think he does. I like how you stuck up for Mox, but what about Brian? He needed help tonight. Logic. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. You, you, you're worried about this blackmail. You need to be worried about this blackmail. <laughs> One of my favorite Farouk promos of all time. One day I, I always reference that promo. What are you? I don't know. That was a good point, Matt. Like I thought the same thing. Like what was you to doing? Uh, the party sings better than y'all. Don't make me say. Don't make me say something bad about the party out here, B boy. All right, stop hating. We were that was impromptu. Me and Derek, when we do all those names and stuff, when we say stuff and sing, it's not even playing, bro. No. It's just it's just right there for the it's right there for the taking. Uh, can't believe Billy and Chuck was during the ruthless aggression era. I could <laughs> be like Jim Cornette singing on his podcast. Come on now, come on now, Jason. We can't be doing that. Next up, we got a match. This one I didn't think really it didn't hit for me tonight as well as it has in the past. The battle of the Bryans, Brian Cage versus Brian Danielson. Do you trust the man with the I or the man with the Y? <laughs> Which Brian do you trust? Food for thought. So, yeah, this was a solid match, but I don't trust the guy who. Yo, chill. Slander. Is it? I already know where you're going. Cut it out. Is it slander? Cut it out. I'm sorry. The man used to. Yo, be... yo, chill. <laughs> solid match for this one. Nah, bro, this match was garbage. No, nah, I don't think it was garbage. I, I think it was garbage. It's, it's... Danielson. No, you hate Brian Cage. Admit it. I do. <laughs> Brian Cage fucking sucks. <laughs> I don't think Cage sucks. Cage is just weird. I don't know. There's just a, he doesn't feel like he fits in something. Like he does not feel like he is a bully. You're saying he seems like he's too nice to be in that role. Yeah. He's in. You gotta explain yourself, Derek. See, when he's you say shit like that, you sound like a hater, bro. He's he, bro. I I need you that big. 
I need you to come out here and start just mopping floors with people. Like, bro, Darby, I'm about to drag you through through the whole backstage and give you a nice little swirly and leave you in the bathroom. That's that's kind of bully if she is. That's what I'm saying. It's fucked up, though. And, no, it ain't. If you that big, that's what you're supposed to be doing. I have bad flashbacks of when Stone Cold did that to Brian Pillman. So, I respect it. That was actually on the same uh, King of the Ring that I was referencing that Farouk promo from. But, yeah, Listen, yeah you, can't, all- you can't get people swirly, but that's, that's just messed up. Is it? Bully. So, <laughs> in no, this. bro, if, if you got armed, if you're that size. Bro, hold on. Let's let's look at the match, though. Oh. He did catch Danielson out the backflip. That was different. It was different versus doing the whole. Dude, we all know the sequence. Danielson goes in the corner. He runs up, backflip, lands on his feet. Under, he comes off the ropes, clothesline, duck, here he comes back. Instead, they did something different. He caught him off the ropes because he's a bigger dude. I, I thought that was good. What I think my problem with Cage is it's the mohawk, bro. That's I don't yes. like the mohawk on him. It seems weird, and him being with the embassy feels off, but maybe that was because it was supposed to be Tully Blanchard Enterprises. I don't know what they did here. But Cage dominated most of this match. Remember, MJF told him, break Danielson's arm for me. Yes. He tried to do that. But couldn't get the job done. He uh cage yo Danielson move of the match. I thought though was that German suplex with the leg capture. Yes, that was dope. Yeah, that 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 was nice. That was nice. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that done before. Right? Someone said it's the booking for Cage. Uh, it was very good, but not as good as the last two weeks. Someone said we don't need Cordette vibes facts. Uh, Cage swear he's a luchador. It's the booking for Cage. That's what I'm saying. I can't type hate as much as it's deserved tonight. He doesn't look like he fits his own body there. <laughs> We're all thinking it. Exactly. No, stop. It, 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 he does not Derek, fit the body that he has. Hold on, bro. He does not fit the body that he has. Business law, too. I want y'all to look up the definition of slander. You cannot say this. I didn't say anything that was slandering. Not yet, but it's coming. I know you. We need to get a neon light uh, when the hate starts. Yeah, BJ, we need to work on that. If we can get a graphic like that that starts lighting up when the hate starts. Uh, we need Brian Cage versus Hangman versus Ego Page versus Christian Cage in a steel cage. Go to hell for just writing that. Right. <laughs> Change the dance. Uh, the power bomb on top of the turnbuckle look nasty. Yeah. 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 I can't say that, Deanna. Uh, someone said protein shake. See? You never know. Uh, Cage is heading to WWE. I don't. They had him at one point, though. If they wanted him, they could. Not repeating that either. Sick. I, I just cannot for legal purposes. Um, moving on in here. Uh, I apologize for those listening on the audio version of this, but I cannot repeat the stuff that is being typed in this chat at points in time. So if you ever think I'm ignoring you, it's either for a reason or I really didn't see it. <laughs> Wow, wowzers. Um, Danielson gets the win with so Cage goes for a power bomb and he's usually picks them up, but Danielson like rolled over into a sunset flip, stacked him up on top of his shoulders because big as hell, you ain't kicking out of this. One, two, three. He gets the dub, and then immediately after Cage starts whooping on him, puts a beat down. Here comes MJF. They grab a chair. MJF bullied the dude in the chair bad. Just pushed him down. He was a piece of garbage. Uh, they start working over his arm. They're trying to injure it, and they're finally going to go for the big break. But Takeshka comes out and makes the save. Kanosuke Takeshka uh, is out there. I love it. Good baby face spot for dude. Absolutely. Uh, he made the save. I thought it was really good. Yeah. That was it. Uh, that press slam into the turnbuckle was dope. Eee. Yeah. And after that, Danielson cuts a fiery babyface promo about how no doctor is going to stop him in this situation. Right. Um, I like that. That was real fiery babyface type promo. We all know it's a work, but you you get what I'm saying. Follow oh, along here. Absolutely. I thought it was a good promo. They're trying to really build him up as the contender to go up against MJF. I like it. He's the babyface that can't be stopped. Right. Right. Um, <laughs> once again, I cannot comment on some of these. Uh yeah, <laughs> Claudio and Yuta should have helped Brian. <laughs> Matt said Claudio was in the house too. Uh, Takeshita has made it known that Danielson is his hero or one of them. Yeah, yeah, he's very respectful. I love that about him. Um, really cool of him at coming into this company and doing all that stuff. I like that they did that. Now, 
Next up, Eric, I hope you're listening. I'm going to try to bring up your point here. Now, the original matchup for tonight was definitely supposed to be this uh, this matchup that we have here with the triple threat. Tony Storm, Ruby Soho, and Britt Baker. Apparently, Britt was injured or she couldn't compete tonight? Maybe that was uh, because of that stumble that she had. She did well, stumble. I mean, not, not like stumble, but... Um... You talk about like the recent injuries and stuff from yeah. before. Yeah, like like it's it's. But she's been wrestling since then. I don't know. Maybe maybe another bump led to another bump. I don't know. Yeah, I, I I think she had. I don't I don't remember what match it was, but there there was a match where it wasn't cringe worthy, but it was just like ooh that 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 looked like you kind of. But I think every match with Britt has spots like that though. We we're like ooh that looked really rough for you know yeah. Um, and I got your, uh, message right here. Eric Douglas, Eric Douglas says he thinks we get a three-way blood and guts match, uh, team WWE versus team AEW, uh, hater who turns on Brit because of Sheeta. Interesting. Maybe, maybe I think they have options with this. I I don't know who to trust and who not to trust in all of this. Um, but this match was turned from a three-way into a one-on-one Tony Storm versus Ruby Soho, Ruby, 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 Ruby Soho. Uh, no, no, no. This EPW, <laughs> I, I went all the way back up looking for that comment, but yeah, yeah. Eric made a good point about that before. Um, this was a good women's match. Uh, somebody said it was on dark last night. She got her nose busted last week, and I think it was her nose again. Ooh, dang it. Someone said it could be a cover up, they could use it as that as well if they wanted to. Uh, it was supposed to be a triple threat. Britt lied about the injury because she knew Ruby was going to turn and revealed as a new member of Team Soraya. Could be. Could be. Everybody's got their theories. Uh, yep. Tony Storm was using that that sweet cheek music uh, to knock Ruby out the ring. Showed off a little new attitude tonight, Tony Storm. Yes. Uh, Tony went for Storm Zero Pile Driver at one point. Britt Baker's music hit. This felt very WWE to me when I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... It's, WWE 101. Yeah, dude. I hate the distraction though. Like the yeah. the wait a minute. I'm about to do a move. Music hits. What are you doing? Right. What are you doing? And then all of a sudden, turn around into a roll-up or a finisher. And then right. Ruby catches her and it was over. Uh hits destination unknown. One, two, three. Yo, Tony ate that move, by the way. She she, she kissed the mat. Like oh. when she got hit with that, I was like. Ooh, that did not look like it was a fun bump to take. Nope. Down she goes. Ruby gets the win, though. Destination. Now. Ruby, 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 Ruby so hope. I'm a fan, man. I'm a fan. I, I like Ruby. I, li- I like the I like song. Ruby. I like the song. Ruby's Ruby's on fire right now, though, so she Jeez. deserved the win. It was cool. Uh, someone said Tony has deadly cheeks. Knock it off now. I know where you're going with that. <laughs> Knock it off. Uh, Britt versus Billy Starks was very good. Okay, that might have to be a match I check out. I did not watch uh, Dark yesterday, so <laughs> it's a sing along night. Yeah, it's, it's been a music y kind of day, you know? Uh, this was a universe mode cut scene, somebody said. Oh, not wrong. Not wrong. But I'm, like I said, I'm intrigued by this. Yes. I'm invested in this. I want to see more of what they're going to bring with the ladies. Um, I'm for it. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, the 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 women are on that um that upper echelon top tier kind of direction now. <laughs> BJ said, giving my lady the Conrad and Derek duet album for Valentine's Day. What hits would you find on that album, Derek? <laughs> I don't even know if that's even <laughs> You know, I'm bringing the LL Cool J vibes. <laughs> they call me Big LA. <laughs> Big LA. <Zilla. laughs> uh, AEW and women noses go God. Uh, Britt gets squashed by Nia Jax. No, 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 nah. no, no, no. We don't need no Nia Jax in AEW. Nah. Hey. Hell no. To the no, no, no. No, don't do that. We don't need that. Yo. Hell to the no. Hold on, we we have been saying a lot today. We have to we have to dial that back next week, <laughs> or it's gonna come out your paycheck, man. We can't we can't have that happening. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, let me see here. Team Soraya uh, slash WWE. Tony, Athena, and Ruby versus Team Brit. Brit, Jamie, Rebel, and I forgot her name. Um, 
listen, you could you could put Sheeta in the OG team too, though. You could oh, do. I, I think you're gonna get five on five with all this. Yes, blood and guts is going to the women, and the women should have it for uh, without a doubt. They should have it. It's it's their time. Like I said, the direction, the 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 attention to detail, the the matches themselves have been on a different level. And we have to we have to acknowledge the fact that they've been on that level for quite some time, which in my opinion started with Britt and Thunder Rosa. Uh Eric Douglas says, All I'm gonna say is Juice is a very lucky man. It's hard being rock hard, like Juice Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> That's LA night. I know. Why was that was random as hell. <laughs> I, I had to throw yeah in after that. Tony is gonna <laughs> sign her LOL, just kidding. LL is why I use uh, LBJ as my shorthand of my name. See? Uh, on that Kyrie Derek Elm, I can see with my baby tonight. <laughs> Spending money, working hard on the go. Uh, Sheeta, but the other wrestler, I forgot her name. <laughs> the fifth member. <laughs> Team Saraya will be Sasha Banks. You mean Mercedes. Money. money. I was going to do it like South Park. Oh, Money. <laughs> Uh, money. No, Brick got swat. Oh, Brick got squashed by Nia in NXT. I forgot about that. Yeah, we still don't bring that up though. <laughs> that's, that's I don't want to even hear that name. Fifth member of Summer Ray, huh? Oh, heck, so. <laughs> <laughs> imagine if Team Brit we swap out Rebel for uh Thunder Rosa. That Ooh. Thunder Rosa. I miss Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa. It's been a minute since you had to say that, right? Yes, too long. Too, too long. <laughs> He said it's Monet. <laughs> uh, heck yeah, Mercedes Monet. <laughs> I love that you guys are all capping it. All caps, baby. Exclamation. All right. So MJF announces that he has hired someone to face Brian Danson next week. It is the yuck mouth, Timothy Thatcher. My man is coming in and he's got them teeth that are made for wrestling, bro. He's about to come in and go toe to toe with Brian Danielson. I think this is going to be dope. Yuck mouth wasn't a bad rapper, bro. Super random. <laughs> but yes, uh, Timothy Thatcher versus Brian Danielson is going to be uh, quite a matchup, I think. You know what? Uh, Timothy Thatcher, slow and methodic. Slow and methodic, but he, he's up there in age, though, isn't he? I don't know. I don't think so. I think he no? just looks like that. You, you know, he's one of the wrestlers like Regal and Iron Anderson. The motherfucker was 24. He looked like he was 48. Like, <laughs> what is this, bro? You know, uh, yeah, that that's very true. Um, no, I, I I definitely think that uh, Timothy Thatcher and uh, Brian Danielson will hit because that that's that's a, that's a technical style, in my opinion, versus a bruiser. Like Timothy yeah. Thatcher is a bruiser. Well, but he can do the tech though. He, he can, can. He can. Yes, he can. But I, I see him as a bruiser more than a technical wrestler. I think that's going to be a different match than we're used to next week. Yes, so. because it, it's I, that. That's what I'm saying. I think it'll be technical versus bruiser. Rob said, 39 years old. Damn. See, Timothy. Timothy been out here looking like he was 39 since I first saw him. He out here doing his thing. Someone said, uh, Deanna said, Thatcher versus Mox is a match we need. That's a blood sport match I could see happening for sure. Or a New Japan or a Noah crossover match. They could do that, though. Bro, that 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 is a match that will need all kinds of transfusions. <laughs> for what, the buckets of blood that's going to happen? Yes. Be a good match, though. I'm telling you. Be a good match. Uh, so MJF announces that that's who's facing Danielson. Now, here's what we got for Rampage lined up for you guys. Hangman Adam Page is going to be taking on Wheeler Yuta. <laughs> I definitely did the talk text for this, and it says Adam Hangman Page versus Where Are You Now? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, what the hell, Apple? Powerhouse Hobbs is going to be in action, the Book of Hobbs. Jamie Hayter versus Emi Sakura in an elimination match. That's going to be good. Emi Sakura, I think, should be on Dynamite more than she is. Yes. I, I feel like she just deserves to be there. She's kind of got this, like, queen gimmick right now that they've been doing. So let them shine in this one, man. I hope Jamie Hayter and her get some time in there and they do the do the damn thing. Yes. Next week, though, when me and Derek will be covering this next week on Dynamite, that's why you need to subscribe. You need to be here every week. And what do we have coming up here? We mentioned Hangman Page versus John Moxley was made official. Yep. Brian Danson versus Timothy Thatcher. Yep. 
the acclaim will be in action. Yep. Samoa Joe versus Darby Allen. No yep. holds barred for the TNT title. I wonder if someone makes a comeback. Maybe someone named Wardlow. To some of the, the females on Twitter, they call him War Daddy. I ain't doing that. <laughs> I ain't but, calling that man nothing. Warlow is what your name is. <laughs> when you're feeling them 10 power bombs, you'll be calling them daddy. Please stop, daddy. Please. <laughs> daddy, chill. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is even that? Right? Uh-oh, people talk about some Kota Ibushi. Y'all better chill out with that. What if the last match before MJF is Kota Ibushi? I wish. I don't know if Kota's going to be ready yet. If we really do a Noah, let's see Mirafuji and uh, Funaki of Ogawa in AEW turn this into virtual pro wrestling too. Chill, E. We ain't ready for that. I can see the knockouts already. <laughs> the, the fallouts. Ibushi will probably debut at Revolution or Double or Nothing. I, I, I think we might see him at All Out. I think Ibushi still needs time to heal up, man. At one point, this man said he couldn't lift the bar. Just a bar to for weightlifting with his shoulder. This man looked like he was cut of stone, bro. Man, <sighs> by the way, Bushi's jive older than I thought he was. Every time I see him, too, I'm like, yo, this dude looks so young. How old is he? He's in his 40s. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> That's the same. But you know what, though? <laughs> Timothy Thatcher's younger than him. Peep that. This is true. But you know what? Uh, where Where's Colonel Bushi from? Uh, what do you mean from like what organization or no place place? Uh, like place place. Uh, I believe he's from Japan. I don't know. Okay, I'll I'll joke, all up. jokes aside, they don't eat. A, they don't eat a lot of meat, bro. Like it don't matter, dude. He, it don't matter. He was cut. That's what I'm saying. Like they, they, they. Japan and China, they eat super, it, super bro, healthy. So Derek doesn't watch New Japan, so he don't know about this. I want to show you. Up for that. No, I'm about to show you a match though for the IWGP Intercontinental Title. I want you to see what happened on the apron to Kota Ibushi's neck. I don't know how this dude got up and finished the match after that. Dude was tripping. Dude was tripping. Uh, I can see Sammy Callahan will be in Tennessee. War Daddy. See, I told you the ladies call him War Daddy. Let Mox go on vacation, TK. I'm begging you. I can hear people now. He had two weeks off. Cut it out. <laughs> Sammy lives in Dayton. Uh, I kind of like the exclusive characters on AW Dark and on Elevation. The queen of AW should only reign there. Uh, what Booker do you say? Please, Daddy, I don't want none. <laughs> I want Nakajima versus Brian. Uh, Ibushi's last update was 75% healed on his contract runs out in April. Okay. Thank you, E. Uh, Deanna said, Japan, if MJF defeats Brian, it's three down to three wrestlers who have a legit shot for beating defeating MJF. Darby, Orange, and The Rock. <laughs> It'll be The Rock. It's got to be the people's elbow in the church shoes then. Yes. Abushi had them protein shakes during his world title run. Yeah. Yeah. Naito versus Abushi matches scare me. Yo, that was the match. I'm going to just show you highlights, bro. That's all you need to see. You will be like cringe. By the way, did everybody know Naito's a free agent now? Who? Yeah, bro. He's out here. He ain't no contract. Naito goes wherever he wants to go. Hire me. Right. Exactly. Crazy. The Rock needs to stay away. Come on now. Uh, Byron will lose the cage. Who's Byron? Let me know, D. I don't know who that is in the chat there, but let me know. Welcome to the chat, too, by the way. The Rock will be all elite if you smell what AEW is cooking. Y'all better stop, man. Listen, let's talk about this matchup that we got. This was the special match of the night, though. There were tears. The eyes were watery for this one. It doesn't even really like go crazy. It doesn't mean as much as we're about to say for this that it meant to these two gentlemen. Um, Last week, I don't want Derek to get all angry about it because Derek will. The nah, actually, Derek, you're banned from talking to this segment, at least for this part. I'm just saying, let, no, let, I'll I'll speak for you. I got you. I, 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 I got I got, I got you. beef. I got beef. I, I got beef. Me and Derek wanted me and Derek wanted TBS to honor Jay Briscoe last week, but better late than never. I'm gonna keep it peaceful tonight. All right. uh, no violence tonight. So. So Mark Briscoe versus Jay Lethal was made official. I went absolutely crazy for this. Wrestling Twitter went crazy for this. Matt Lopez is messaging me. Pro wrestling, shoot, we're all sharing it. I don't know what's going on, but everybody's going crazy. And uh, Jay Lethal comes out. Jay Lethal is crying. Now, listen, I told this story, I think, last week. I'm telling it again. 
when I was there, I was working a job and I had to help these guys for, for unbeknownst reason. I'm not going to get in all the details of it, but anytime I had to help the Briscoes, Jay Lethal was right there with them. And they were the kindest people from my interactions with them. Always very cool. Offered me pictures, said like, yo, you're a wrestling fan. They even asked my opinion on their matches from the night before or the day of whenever, whatever the situation was. Always asked my opinion. I'm like, why did, why did they care what I think? And they were just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like that thing that I did? And I was like, yeah, that was dope, bro. And then they'd be like, oh, thanks. You know, and slapped me up every time. And they were always good to me, bro. And I really, really always appreciated them. So when I saw that it was Mark Briscoe versus Jay Lethal, it it definitely, it it's different for me. You know, it like twists my heart a little bit. But when Jay Lethal came out, you can see the tears in his eyes. He had on the the Jay Briscoe shirt. Today would have uh, would have been Jay Briscoe's 39th birthday, um, and last week was Mark's birthday, which is uh, something else too. And those two were always together. Tonight, when Mark Briscoe came out with both the tag belts, that was uh, that was something special. I thought, big time tear jerker. Yeah, and. With that happening, uh, they came out and they were ready to deliver, man. They came out delivering hard chops. They were like, bring it, let's go. Um, Jay Lethal, to me, Jay Lethal just couldn't stop the emotions in this. And I don't blame him for it. He came out and he was on his A game tonight. Jay Lethal was jumping higher than I've ever seen him jump. The athleticism was off the charts tonight for Jay Lethal. That is extremely true. Shout out to both of them. Big time in the biggest way possible. Um, it's it's sad. like I said, I got beef, but I'm gonna keep it clean. Yeah, yeah. I saw people talking about it, and I think Terrell even brings it up here. I'll leave his thing up for a second for him. Um, yeah, I I don't know, man. Jay Lethal hit his springboard jumping cutter, the uh, lethal injection. Uh, Mark was able to roll out of the ring, though. He was not able to get the pinfall. Mark Briscoe hit that that big froggy bow through the table on the outside. Yo, people yes. went crazy yeah. for it. I loved it, man. Mark Briscoe, like, when you see these dudes, man, Mark Briscoe's got the face that only a mother could love. That is a pro wrestler through and through. I love it. Um, he ends up eventually getting the win with what I thought is a beautiful move to get the win with, man. The J Driller, man. Uh, I loved it. I lo- I popped when uh, No Lara said I cried at the end of the night. Lo- no Lara, thank you for being in here. No Lara is one of like my longtime subs. I appreciate you, No Lara. Uh, thank you for being in here as well. B Boy Skyline said Redneck Kung Fu for the win. Derek popped when he heard Redneck Kung Fu for the first time. He was like, "Wait, what?" And I had to explain it to him because Derek's only seen Ring of Honor. He's never like watched the broadcast program of it. Right, right. And I loved it. I was like, "Oh, Derek, don't know about why Mark Briscoe does all this." Oh, like, Redneck Kung Fu. What is that? Yeah, the match had extra meaning for both. Um, it was great that he did it. Um. Yeah, Demi, I hear you, bro. But listen, I, I think that they thought that it was going out there to honor their brother. They requested the match. I, the best thing I could tell people is everybody handles uh, grieving differently. That and they if, do. And if that's what they wanted to do, I, I mean, we talked about it last week. Like some people grieve for a long time. Some people try to get over it as quickly as possible. Some people want to do something for that person. Some people detach themselves from everything. Exactly. Everybody's different. I think that's just something that we as people have to be understanding of on all sides. Um, and shout out to my wife. My wife was the one who actually like taught me that like everybody grieves differently. You got to be able just to go with the flow with that. You have to. Um, cause that, that's how, that's how you protect a lot of situations, bro. Like when you're in tune with it, you protect a lot of situations and, and you avoid unnecessary situations. Right. Uh, Matt Lopez said this match made me feel like I was watching an ROH show in the best of ways. Facts facts and uh ring of honor was the way to do this uh the wrestling world will forever mourn the passing of uh jay briscoe but tonight was more like a celebration for who he was that video package was great this match was great um out of for that i love this show i'm not we're not even going to do ratings tonight because tonight was about jay briscoe Nothing else. Jay Briscoe is always going to be important. 
Uh, I'm putting this picture up on the screen real quick, just so people know, man. Uh, they delivered one of the best trilogy tag matches I've ever seen. If you've never seen some of the uh, the singles matches when he had when he was going for the Ring of Honor title, check them out. Uh, him versus Kevin Steen, him versus Adam Cole. There's so many good matches in that singles run. Even Mark Briscoe when he was the uh, television champion. Many, many great matches during that run as well. Uh, the tag team, though, that's that's who the Briscoes were, man. They were one of the best tag teams in wrestling. I make no mistake when I say that. They were one of the best tag teams. I've been watching these guys since they were young, young men in the wrestling game, going out there and doing their thing, man. They are characters to the fullest and they did it to the best of their ability um jay briscoe you are forever going to be missed my thoughts and prayers are with your family uh there is a way to donate if you guys go online i believe i retweeted it on my twitter at epw show if anybody wants to donate you can if you want to buy the shirt from AEW shop you guys can do that as well and that'll go towards the family as well when it comes to that right um all right i'm opening it up man this is it. You guys want to talk Rumble? Bring it up now. You want to talk the AEW video game? We'll bring it up now. What do you want to talk about, Derek? You want to know about this video game stuff? Yes. All right. We'll go into it real quick, and um, we'll, we'll end this on a positive note here with uh, the video game stuff. So AEW games hasn't come out, and everybody's like, well, what's up with this? I thought it was going to be February. That was the rumor. Apparently, there's an ESRB rating problem right now with it, and there's just some confusion, a little back and forth with it. Okay. You know, Mortal Kombat, no green blood, stuff like that. So apparently, there's an issue about it, and I guess that from what I understood from the article, they want to make it rated T for teen. Okay. But but they're, they're probably saying there's too much blood. What are you doing with this? Right. Yada, yada, yada. What Whatever. That's that's what it's going to be. So that's why there's been a little bit of a delay. I think it's better now though with the WWE 2K23 news. Yeah, I, why, I, I you might as well wait until May now. Let WWE get two or three of their DLCs to pop off. Their game's kind of feeling like, eh. and now we got another wrestling game to play. Boom, come in and low blow. Them. <laughs> that's wrong, but I'm just saying, <laughs> coming in with the low blow. Coming in with the low blow. But I, I don't know. I think I might buy both games. It depends right now. WWE, I'm not sure on that. WWE, $120 for the like top tier edition of the game. Who's top tier? Well, Cena's on the cover. But what First I'm saying, mistake. <laughs> what I'm saying is you get you get the OVW versions of Batista as Leviathan. You get Brock Lesnar and OVW, Randy Orton. I'm, I'm just telling you what they offer, bro. I, I didn't pick it. Who was Batista as Le- Leviathan? Batista, so he used to be like a devil spirit. Remember before? This is right before he was with Reverend Devon. Yeah, I remember. One of the best story. themes ever, too. He called my name. He called my name. He... I missed that with the co- Deacon Batista with the collection box with yeah. the dollar. Deacon Batista was good. Um, Rob said, "Remember when the Briscoes used to come out Nas the Cross, bro? The Briscoes used to have some bangers. They came out to bro." Ring of Honor. I don't know how they were getting away with that back then. They probably weren't, truthfully, but they were like, eh. Who gonna sue us? <laughs> right, exactly. That's it. We're we're doing what we gotta do. Okay, no one's gonna sue us for this. It's like a mixtape kind of, yeah. you know. But I'm only borrowing. Yo, by the way, random random mixtape thing that we bring in brought this up. And one, did you know that? Do you know who Escalade's brother is? I'm about to blow your mind if you don't know the answer to this right away. NBA player, Mark Jackson. For real. Yo, Rob told me I said the same thing. I was like, yo, what? And he was like, yeah. And I, I Googled it after. True story. So for those who don't know, if you ever hear that on like Jeopardy or something, you owe me you owe me a couple bucks. Wow. Buy me a burger or something. Go get yourself a donut. <laughs> okay, we got people talking Rumble too. So the AEW game is coming out, guys. I'm, I'm honestly telling you, I think it's pretty much done for what they're going to have for at least the on-disc portion of it. I think they're cleaning up the animations right now to try to make those look as smooth as possible. And so you're going to take a couple extra months to work on that. I'm cool with that. How many times, how many times have you waited on the game and it got delayed and delayed and delayed and it's been frustrating. Nothing new. It's going to, it's going to happen. Um, I, I think, I think they're probably 75% of the way done. They have a few things they got to clean up couple bugs i'm sure that are there 
Um, but we all just have to be patient. That's it. <laughs> Cody's winning the Rumble, and there's no covers for WWE 2K23. Knock it off, bro. B Boy says Rhea's winning the Rumble. Uh, it has to be about the blood and the uh, the face women bleeding. I bet you. I, I don't know if that's the whole situation. Uh, so B Boy said $120. Bad Bunny is the um, pre order bonus, too. Like, if you pre order it, but Bad Bunny was good, though, when he wrestled. I'm not going to front. Come on, bro. Can't. The trailer showed women were bleeding, and it may have caused an issue with the ESRB rating, too. Uh, yo, you read Brian Williams talking about War Games is going to be in 2K23. I don't know how they pulled that off. War Games. Yeah, how did you get that? Shout out to Brian Williams. Apparently, they said Brian came on. I was like, I got you, bro. I can tell you how to do this. Yeah. Love, love B Dub, bro. That's my dog, man. Yeah. Brian's a good dude, though. Like, he has good ideas for this. He said that you can, he already confirmed you can springboard into the ring and you can fight on the middle area. And apparently, the 2K team last year was already planning it a little bit because the backstage areas where you fight were the test pieces for it. Like, you can climb up and do moves on it. Right. They right. knew what they were doing. Absolutely. Absolutely knew what they were Jesus De Leon. Kiss my ass, Jesus. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Talk about when do the Bills play? Tired of that shit. No clue who that is. RIP Escalade. Real ones remember. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Kyra and Terry? You insult me, then say what's up to me, Jesus. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Um, let me see. I love when they had those specials with the game. What I don't like too, though, is yo, me and Sick talk about this all the time, bro. When you release a game, if I buy the season pass, I should get everything. What is this like? You get the iconic edition and then you get these four characters. Nah, bullshit. And eventually I'm gonna put my foot down on this. All right. I'm trying to support you because you've been better. But the moment <laughs> stop, Derek, don't make me laugh. I'm trying to make a good point here. The moment you start pulling this bullshit with this game, I'm gonna get real pissed off. I'm getting ticked off right now thinking about it. Stop charging people all this damn money. Put out a quality game. It's a yearly game. Listen. We were just having this argument, bro. Do yearly games not feel as good anymore? No, they don't. They need more time. They do. They do need more time. And and I I want to say this is probably pre-so-and-so. I I think. Catch yourself now. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to word it in a in a good way, without trying to kill it. What are you trying to talk about? The yearly titles or the prices? The the yearly titles, like like whatever happened to <laughs> NHL ninety four? NHL ninety four. Whatever happened to Metal Gear Solid? Well, Metal Gear is not a yearly release. It's, well, it's, was it? No, not not not, not ne- really. Not necessarily, but. That felt like a yearly release. Boys was not getting through Metal Gear Solid like it was nothing. Hell no. Nah. Especially <laughs> that bullshit one with dude with the sword. Oh, man? It, it, no, oh, not no, with, oh, oh, uh, Raiden? Raiden, yeah. yeah. yeah heavy time. I mean, we love Metal Gear Solid, by the way, if you can't, though. Bro, nobody, the Snake wasn't getting through nothing like that. Like, we was, we was weeks in. Stage one. <laughs> right? Uh, Hawk says you can get weapons before going into the cage. Deanna said, ha ha, B-Dub is a needle mover. Yeah, there's a reason B-Dub was making that move, bro. B-Dub, B-Dub is good, man. I love B-Dub. Y'all tell him come back on EPW show. Tweet at him. Say, when you going back on EPW show? Uh, Money grab, somebody said. They need the bread, though. 2K is bad at that, but Capcom. Yo, Capcom is the reason I hate this shit, bro. I know this is like off the wall non wrestling talk right now. So for those who don't want to hear it, I apologize. But Capcom charging five dollars for a character in Street Fighter, kiss my ass, kiss my ass for that. Yo, I'll pay five dollars for five of them. I ain't paying five dollars for one character. Street Fighter ain't that cool, and it wasn't that great that year. I think it was Street Fighter Four. I bought that shit. Don't you dare do that to me. Shit had me tight, bro. Now I'm afraid to buy Street Fighter because of that. I, I, I don't, I don't remember it. the last time I, I played. Blanca, bro. I don't want to play with this bull. What is this? What are you doing? Man? I don't even think I remember the last time I played Street Fighter, bro. I think it's been some some years since I played the last. Cody and Rhea will win at the Rumble. Sammy wrote, Kevin Owens wrote Sammy's name on the contract. Could be. Could be. I think me and Derek, you you free on Saturday? We doing this review for the Rumble on Saturday? What time does it start? 
hear this? Like this motherfucker got something to prove. Why are you lying? How do you know? I will be out in Rochester, but I'll be back in enough time. Ah, oh, here he goes. It's only an hour, hour and a half. Derek, what happened in the first rumble? So what had happened was <laughs> listen. I'll now be, you'll probably have it on the phone. Yeah. All right. Then, well, we'll be back before that. You'll be like say we'll be back home probably around like six, six thirty, seven o'clock. All right. Listen, and, and, and that, we gotta we gotta tell Rob, bro. I'm telling you, we're making it we're making a stop. What's that? Getting getting some chicken hoagies, bro. I'm not getting no chicken hoagies. Yo, them chicken hoagies is from where? I, oh my god, what's the name of this restaurant? This is offline talk. Hold yeah. on. We'll, we'll talk about this after. Rob Rob will be at work, though, for a minute. Oh, yeah. 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 So I don't know if he'll be here. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss. Uh, AW game is like Bigfoot right now. The game is coming out, bro. Trust. The, Tony Khan wants his money back. He ain't. You don't, t- you don't play with rich people money. He don't play that shit. All right? Trust me. It's coming. Tekken has better step it up when they add new characters. Most fighting games do it better than 2K games. Chill. Chill. They they also have that crazy fan base in there. Street Fighter cats. We talk about something. Don't keep me in the corner and shit. These boys know the timing of moves, bro. The professionals. Right. Rumors are they might remaster Metal Gear Solid. I did see that recently. Yo, I think on get, IGN. You give me a remastered Metal Gear Solid. That I man, listen. What? <laughs> Somebody wrote F Capcom. Like the vid. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all ain't never dealt with dead or alive DLC. I don't even want to know how much that was, Rob. Bring back the Power Stone. Uh, I will help out for the Rumble. What you mean by that, B Boy? What you you bringing a body over here? Like, what do you mean by that? Sound like some real good fella shit right there. Help you out. Uh, Hey, Kyra, please, when Cody wins the Rumble, record Derek's reaction. I got you, bro. Oh, my God. Adrenaline. In my soul, Derek kiss Cody Rhodes ass. He's gonna be back, baby. Co- Cody, Cody, this is for the haters. He better cut. He, I want him to cut a dusty promo after. He better not cut. Nothing. Nah, you know he's doing the crying promo though. <laughs> the the bite, no, the bite in the lip. That's fucked up, bro. Come on now, he's gonna do the bite in the lip promo. No, nah, Cody, Cody. I think Cody deserves it though. Cody's- Bitch. Oh, here we go. Anger. Anger. Let it let it go. Nah, now nah, get you a wall burger <laughs> over Tom Walls. <laughs> uh bring back Marvel versus Capcom 2. People are saying, man, we got some gamers up in here. I've been I've been wondering if I should game more, man. Uh definitely subscribe to the YouTube and Twitch for it, man. I like I said, I'm gonna try and do some more stuff. Once we get these damn wrestling games, I know I'll definitely put up more, but I just need the time to do it, man. Like, all the time I put into this is all the time I got. Terrell says, Cody, Sammy, or Cross will win the Rumble. Who are you taking, Derek? Let's let's get quick picks in right now. All right. Roman losing the title. Yay or nay? No. Alexa Bliss, Bianca. Bianca. Uh, L.A. Knight, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. Okay. Men's Royal Rumble winner and women's Royal Rumble winner. Who's got the women's? I took Rhea. Yeah. That that's the only person I could see right that, now. Yeah, that, that's the only one. Or one. Becky. Becky could, but I don't think nah. they do it for Becky again. Nah. She's not she's not hot right now. No. Yeah. It's gotta be Rhea. It has to be Rhea. Okay. And men's rumble winner. Does Rock come back? People are starting to say maybe Stone Cold versus Roman Reigns. I don't know. Some people say it's Cody. Some people are like, nah, Cody's gonna face Seth again. I don't know what they do no. here. Cody, Cody, I don't if Rock's Cody. back, it, Rock's getting the main event. I hope y'all know. So if you hear, if you, I'm like, yo, that's my pick. It's over. It's over. It's tough. It's definitely tough because I, I think Cody is at that point now. On fucking fortunately, um, he deserves it. He listen, bro. Listen, you can't blame Cody for this. I think I what happened. Cody for everything. No, because here's the thing. You got to think of it like this, bro. Right. Cody had to get the bag. There was too much money. WWE was so desperate for stars. They were like, yo, I'll pay you millions to come over here. Cody took the bag. Now, in AEW, though, like I keep saying, Cody fucked himself in that booking. He did that to himself, a lot of it. And he did. He put the ceiling over himself, and he was going to be an executive. I think Cody still comes back to AEW one day. 
I think he's going to handle his business and come back. Uh, some people are saying Oscar for the women's, Terrell says. Deanna says Raquel for the women's. Nah. I can see Raquel possibly. Uh, I hope we get evil Kana for Oscar. We haven't seen Kana in a minute. For the men, someone said Sammy. Mm. D- Derek will just be there for the celebration of Sammy wins. Yes, that's it. I just need the dancing. Singing and dancing on the show. We're doing too much tonight. Sammy wins and gives the contract to The Rock. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be funny. I will laugh if we hear, if you smell, and the crowd boos him all over again. 2014 Rumble all over again. Damn. If it is The Rock, he's going to defeat Roman and pull the and go to AEW with the WEWE title. Like Ric Flair brought the WCW title with him. Y'all wilding in this chat. Right. Um. Unfortunately, bro, I definitely feel like it's going to have to be Cody because I think Cody's past the Seth Rollins feud. And I think Austin's going to wrestle LA Knight. That's how I think it's going to go. Rock. Actually, Rock may show up at Mania, but no. Rock's not going to. You're changing it from Cody? Yes. Don't tell me, Seth. It ain't going to be Seth. Okay. It's not going to be Seth. It's going to be Seth and Cody because Seth is going to screw Cody. Mm. So you're saying he's going <laughs> to pause. Play. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. So you're saying that he was going to. So Seth cost Cody. So who wins then? Are you going Rock? You think Rock showing up now? They say he's not in shape, supposedly. That's bullshit. I don't know. He he is fifty. That is, that is true. I feel like Rock wants to retire. He's like, stop bringing my damn name up. Right, <laughs> I just yeah. want to do my movies. Right. Um. Somebody said Batista. I'm crazy. <laughs> Uh, I still think WrestleMania match will be Sammy versus Kevin versus Uso for the tag time. I'm still dead set on that, too. Oh, yeah. What if the contract goes to the tribal elders and they get a replacement? Ooh, interesting. Uh, but Derek Conrad, what about Karrion Cross? Remember when him and Scarlett came back, they did the hourglass to Roman? Cross told the Usos he's coming for Roman. Nah, I think I think that's done. <laughs> you focus on Rey Mysterio for now, homie. Right, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, get past a little Ray Ray and you you good. Right. Um, no, I I I definitely think Seth is gonna cost Cody. They have to finish their their go round. They have to finish that. Um, I think it's gonna be Kevin Owens, bro. Okay. So you're saying wait, Kevin Owens is wrestling Reigns, though. So he I don't think he'll be in again. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um you better just stick to Cody, bro. But, gee, I don't want to, though. Oh, like, <laughs> See the hate bleeding through? He just can't stop the hate. I don't want to because I feel like Seth has to cost Cody the title. To finish this matchup, I'm so tired of it. I think Cody wins the belt and Seth would be the one to take it off of him. But this depends on what they're going to do with the unified belts. How long is Triple H in charge for? Is there a draft coming up? We need a damn draft. Are you separating the tag titles? Are you keeping right. the tag titles? Everything's in limbo right now, and I think the Rumble needs to start answering some questions. Someone said Gunther as the wild card. Oh, hell no. Dom getting ready to destroy Ray at WrestleMania? Yeah, that's a fact. (laughs) You thought I hated Cody. And you know what? I'm not mad because I do understand Derek's side of it too, though, with Cody. Like, I don't want to even get into the whole Cody thing. I like Cody. As a, as a wrestler, I like Cody as a wrestler. I'm just disappointed that Cody like did the rah 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 AEW, and he was like, "All right, I'm out." Like it just made it feel like, "Oh, was that fake or is this fake?" Right. Like, what yeah. am I supposed to believe? But Cody and WWE is a saving thing because imagine if there was no Cody there for those months. Jeez, what would you be into? You know. Wow, a lot of pinos. Someone said maybe it'll be Seth and Cody versus Roman. That could be a banger. If they wanted to. Yeah, here you go. Nah, gotta be one on one, bro. Yeah, yeah. You don't. I, I guess you don't want Reigns to lose like that either. Yeah, no. But gotta, listen, gotta be one on one. Listen, I think on Saturday we're gonna try and cover the Royal Rumble for you guys. We'll go live afterwards. It's five matches. I don't know how long we'll go, but we'll definitely have some fun with this. Uh, make sure you keep it locked here on Everything Pro Wrestling. I appreciate all of you guys coming out. I know we talked about some other stuff here tonight, and. um 
I, I'm feeling good about the video game stuff. I think WWE 2K23 showing some promise. Universe mode sounds like they're gonna get some story designer stuff in there. That my faction shit is bullshit. Still, don't give it any money unless you feel like you have to right. or you enjoy that mode. Other than that, like don't give in if you feel like oh I have to get this attire for this person. Nah, fuck that. Don't give them any money for that my faction shit. I hate it. Like they're gonna just try to con you out as much money as they can. That's just me personally talking. Right. If you want to do it, do it. Uh, AW game will be coming out when we don't know. I think by May should be the date. If not, it'll be by All Out. Um, <sighs> it's coming soon. That ass whoop is coming soon, Derek. You don't have to wait too much longer for. It. I saw you looking, thinking like, "Oh no, oh no." <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get it in, bro. I got that jersey primed and ready. I'm going to need that joint stretched. <laughs> Listen, you don't, you don't even have to wear it, bro. You just have to have it in your vicinity. That's bullshit. <laughs> I ain't holding that up. But listen, I lost. <laughs> this is my punishment. I'd rather shave an eyebrow off than that. <laughs> now, let me not say that. <laughs> let me take that back. See, CJ will probably be a part of the 80 for Brady. Yo, chill. And I'm not 80 either. Don't have to be, bro. Listen. And uh, I want to end this show on a right note. We'll keep up with all the video game stuff. You might even see a, a one-off special for me soon talking about some of that, if I can get a guest on or if there's something new to talk about with it. But don't forget, guys, tonight, make sure you guys uh, rep the homie Jay Briscoe. Uh, th that was what this night was about tonight. I'm glad that his fam got to uh, be on television and represent him, Jay Lethal and Mark Briscoe. Um all love, man. And this wrestling world is very important to me and to all of us who are in here every week. And I cherish that. And I cherish all of you. So for myself and my tag team partner, the man they call Derek, we are out for this episode of Everything Pro Wrestling. One. Pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here. So listen in, let the knowledge begin. The opinions, the lesson, yes, by the fans, uh, for the fans. Uh, not many in this can understand. Uh, this the podcast to show you who I am. Uh, Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans. Uh, please listen every day to the showcase. The opinions and knowledge that anyone can tell you, showing you. How it is done, proving I am number one, what a legend becomes. This is now my time to show you that I am here. Uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear. Uh, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many who's here can understand. Uh, Everything pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people, the best show that's here. So listen in, let the knowledge begin, the opinion and the lesson, yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here. So listen in, let the knowledge begin, the opinions, the lesson, yes.